welcome back to the farm. My name's Roz, also known as Passion Flower, and you'll find me here each week talking about my farming and creative life. It's been a busy few weeks, but not of farming stuff, more just life stuff and more spending time out away from the farm, which has been really weird considering the year of lockdowns we've had. So that's why last week I shared with you a little behind the scenes about my yarn dyeing recipes rather than a regular episode. I hope you enjoyed that so that I would have a little bit more to talk about this week and hopefully moving forward now things will quieten down outside and there'll be more farm things to talk about. A recent highlight though was seeing an echidna in the wild. I don't think I've seen that many before. It's funny because I do still get excited every single time I see a kangaroo which is almost every time I go for a walk. So to see an echidna I was so excited and just amazed sat there and watched it for quite a while and took some video and um, it was a really special moment. We've also managed to fix the slasher on the back of the tractor, so we've been able to get out and knock off some of the weeds and start on some blackberries uh, to make the paddocks a lot uh, nicer. Speaking of blackberries, back in episode 58, I talked about how I'd met with someone from Landcare and we're looking at ways to reduce the blackberries on the farm. So since then, I have applied for a grant through Melbourne Water, which we've been successful in, and now we're getting quotes for a professional to come in and do some spraying along the creek line. The contractor specializes in this kind of work, so we'll be very safe and make sure that none of the spray goes into the water or target any of the native plants, only the blackberries. So the idea is that we have some really amazing remnant bush with some native plants that are really great for the area and that have been here for a really long time. So we're hoping that by removing the blackberries from around the creek line, we'll be able to encourage that growth to come down towards the creek and that we will be able to establish a really great environment up there. So I'll share the progress with you as we start to get the spraying done and also hopefully as we are able to return some of the more native bush to the sides of the creek. Given that I've been out and about, I haven't had a lot of sitting crafting time. I have finished the first motif on my jumper, so that is coming along but quite slowly. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far and I think it's going to turn out really pretty. I've also started on another pair of grey and pink stripy socks. These ones are a commission knit. So I, I want to try and get through these ones reasonably quickly if I can. I'm up to the heel on the first one, so they should power through in the next week. A few years ago, I knit some star ornaments. And recently I shared them on Instagram and there was some interest in the pattern. Here are the ones that I knit previously. I just used some scraps of my hand dyed yarn and I then starched them and hung them on my tree. So to write the pattern up, I've had to re-knit and remember what I did. I tried one and I'm not terribly really happy with this one. So I'm onto a different prototype and I'm changing the edging to make it a little bit thicker. And I think that this will be the one that ends up being written up as a pattern. So I'm getting onto that and should have that ready fairly soon. So keep an eye out, I can put a link below when the pattern is ready and I will share it here probably next week. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for spending some time with me. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you next week on the farm. Bye.